Hi friends, today we're talking about the must-have beauty and fashion essentials that every woman should own in 2024. I'm going to be sharing with you my beauty and fashion hacks that have always worked for me because there are certain beauty products that can instantly elevate our look and make us look more beautiful in a matter of a couple of minutes and there are also when we talk about fashion there are certain garments that can instantly elevate our look elongate the silhouette and make us look put together right away. I want to quickly start with the first garment that I think every woman should own in her wardrobe. The one garment that has the power to elongate the legs, to make the legs appear longer and to make the waist appear smaller. But before I share that with you, I would like to take a few moments to say a very special thank you to Lily Silk for working with me on this video. They allowed me to choose whatever I want from their gorgeous spring summer collection. It is absolutely stunning. And I have worked with Lily Silk in the past. For those of you who are not familiar with the brand, this is one of the fastest growing fashion brands at the moment and has been recognized by Hollywood celebrities, some of the most well-dressed Hollywood celebrities, I would say. Their garments are incredibly good quality. I've known the brand for years, probably it's around seven years now that since I've known the brand and I still have garments from Lily Silk in my wardrobe that are six years old. The quality of their garments is exceptionally good. The first garment that I'm going to show in this video is going to be a wide leg trouser. So I don't know why not many people talk about this garment and I don't see actually fashion bloggers I don't see fashion editors talking about this garment, but this is the one garment that I've always had in my wardrobe. It doesn't matter how hard it is to find it, but I've always had this garment in my wardrobe since my late teenage years, because this is the one garment that has the power to elongate the legs. And if it's a high-waisted one, like the one that I have chosen from Lily Silk, it is going to help also to make the waist appear smaller. Like everything from Lily Silk, the quality of these trousers is exceptionally good and what I love especially is that at the back you have this elastic that is never going to feel uncomfortable. This makes the trousers feel very comfortable and even if you gain a few pounds you're still going to be able to wear these trousers very successfully. They're not going to feel uncomfortable and they are going to fit perfectly. This is a timeless must-have piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe. Here on the demo, I have chosen to pair the trousers with this beautiful cashmere top. I love the cashmere of Lily Silk and these are garments that last for so many years. I have one cashmere sweater from Lily Silk, which lasts me for still as new after more than four years. I think that's now five years that I still have it and it's still beautiful. Now this one in particular that you see in the demo is in the color toffee, which is a favorite color for me. They have different colors from this top, but my choice was a toffee color because I always love this kind of toffee color. I think that it's um, very elegant and this is one of the colors that can instantly elevate the look. The next fashion piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe is a navy blue double breasted blazer. I'm going to explain now why navy blue and why a double breasted blazer. I have chosen one from Lily Silk, which I absolutely love. And if you take a closer look at the blazer, I'm going to make sure to give you a close up that I love the details. I love the buttons on the blazer. It feels very comfortable and the cut is perfect to make the shoulders look straight. And I'm choosing specifically a double breasted blazer because this is the one shape and the one cut that has the power to make the waist look smaller when you button it. And it's very hard here. The tricky part about the double breasted blazers is usually that it's very hard to choose a double breasted blazer that is made in a way that it's going to look beautiful when it's buttoned and when it's unbuttoned. And this one in particular that I have chosen from Lily Silk is one that looks beautiful buttoned and unbuttoned as you can see on the demo. This is one timeless piece that everyone should have in their wardrobe and I'm choosing the color navy blue because this color in particular is one of the most elegant colors. It's a neutral color that works with everything. You can combine it with any other colors and, and navy blue is going to suit any wardrobe. This is this one piece that can elevate any look. You can wear it with jeans, 
with a dress, with a skirt. You can make it look more formal or more casual. And this is the one piece that is going to instantly elevate the look. The double breasted blazer is this piece that has the power to make, let's say if you're like me, my chest is quite small. This is this piece that it shapes everything. It makes the chest appear a little bit larger than the waist and then the waist, it makes it appear smaller than it actually is. And now let's mix it up a little bit. We are moving on to a couple of beauty items. I would say they are more of a beauty items. And this is number three and four. I'm going to talk about these two items together because they go hand in hand together. And this is going to be big sunglasses and a fuchsia lipstick. Now I'm going to talk first about the sunglasses. Why you need a bigger sunglasses? We're talking about big sunglasses that are going to cover this whole area. And this is not only a fashion accessory, but it's also connected to your health. Usually this area here is the most fragile when it comes to aging and you should wear sunscreen of course every single day but it's good to wear also sunglasses and I usually choose bigger sunglasses that are going to protect the whole eye area because this area right here is where any kind of pigmentation is very easily triggered. It's going to be triggered from here and also this delicate area here ages the quickest. So you need all the additional protection that you can get, plus it always looks very stylish. And I'd say if you don't have time to do your makeup, if you don't have much time and you quickly have to go out, these beautiful big sunglasses are always going to look gorgeous with a statement fuchsia lipstick. And we're moving on to the fuchsia lipstick now. I think that every woman should own a beautiful fuchsia lipstick because it's easier to wear compared to the classic red lipstick. Not everyone loves to wear a classic red lipstick, but let's say that the fuchsia lipstick has a little bit of pink, a little bit of red. It has the best of the both worlds. And I'm choosing a fuchsia lipstick because I think that fuchsia lipstick looks beautiful on everyone. It can instantly brighten the complexion of anyone. It's very easy to choose and to wear a fuchsia lipstick. Now, a couple of tips that I have for you about the fuchsia lipstick. Number one is going to be if you, you can wear it as a stain and make it a little bit more casual and a little bit more suitable for every day. This is going to give you a more youthful look or you can go bold with the fuchsia lipstick, apply a full coverage fuchsia lipstick and this is going to give you this more kind of a runway look. This combination, the big sunglasses and a fuchsia lipstick always elevates the look and if you don't have time to do your makeup, you can just quickly apply tinted moisturizer with your hands and the fuchsia lipstick is literally going to save you. You can apply also the fuchsia lipstick on the cheeks as well. You can always use it as a blush and it's going to look absolutely fabulous. Next, we're moving on to another fashion item that is a must have for everyone and my personal favorite piece from Lily Silk's Spring Summer Collection. They were super kind to me and they allowed me to choose actually two pieces. But the one piece that I would recommend to everyone, to every woman to own in 2024, this is going to be a little cardigan jacket, like the one that I'm wearing in this video, which is my favorite piece from their spring summer collection. It is absolutely gorgeous. Do not miss this one because it has the typical marinere design. I have talked about the iconic marinere in, I believe in a few of my videos. This is one of the must have pieces that everyone should own. But this made is a little cardigan jacket. It is just the perfect piece. It is casual and elegant at the same time. And it is the one piece that can instantly elevate the look, just like the double-breasted blazer. But this one is more effortless. This one is the more youthful, the more effortless version. And I would suggest this to anyone. It doesn't matter whether you're going to be 20 year old or 70, 80 year old, you need one of these jackets. And this one personally is my favorite because I'm going to give you close-ups, but this one has so such beautiful details. Um, it is a white color with navy blue, which makes it very fashionable. This is never going to go out of fashion. It's always going to be trending. It's going to be beautiful now. 
in one year, in five years, and knowing the quality of Lily Silk's garments, this one is certainly going to last me for. You can wear this one with a skirt if you want to, with your old jeans, and it's going to look incredible. And I absolutely love the buttons. The buttons look incredibly luxurious. So this is my must-have piece, and Lily Silk were so, so kind to me, and they allowed me to get also the navy blue one for which I'm so happy. The navy blue is also equally beautiful. The buttons are a little bit different of the navy blue. Both feel incredibly comfortable and they are gorgeous. Next, we're moving on to beauty again. And every woman should own at least two fragrances. I say at least two fragrances because one should be more suitable for the winter time and the other one should be more suitable for the spring summer time. Of course, there are fragrances that are suitable for all seasons, but these are fewer fragrances, let's say. One of the biggest fragrance mistakes that I've seen people making is if they use a light floral eau de toilette in the winter time because they are always going to overspray it and they are never going to be happy with it and they're never going to feel it. So let's say you are using, you're like me and you like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, but it's an eau de toilette. It's a light floral, beautiful scent. It's absolutely gorgeous for the hot summer months, for the spring, late spring, I would say. But if you want to, and if you decide to wear this fragrance during the winter months, nobody's going to feel this fragrance. It's not going to project well. And that's why I say choose correctly the fragrances for the colder months and for the warmer months because that's how you're not going to overspray and you're going to actually enjoy the fragrances that you're wearing because let's say if you wear a light floral eau de toilette in the winter months you're going to overspray it and let's say when you enter an elevator or a smaller space you're going to literally suffocate the people and they are going to feel it just feels unpleasant when you overspray, even if it's a light or the toilet fragrance. And when you go out, it's not going to project well, so you're not going to be happy with the performance of the fragrance. Or the other mistake that I have seen is people wearing these really heavy, deep, warm, uh, beast mode fragrances in the summer months. They're usually not going to perform well in the summer. For the summer months, you need something that's a little bit more fresh, a little bit more uplifting. There are certain perfumes that are just more suited for the winter months. And if you wear them in the spring summer months, you're usually not going to leave a good impression to the people around you. So that's why I say that owning two fragrances is going to be ideal because one is going to be dedicated to the colder months and the other one is going to be dedicated to the summer months. Next, we're moving on to a magical makeup product and this is a natural looking highlighter. I say a magical product because this is the kind of product that almost people are not going to notice that you wear it, but it's going to take your skin to the next level and it's going to make your skin look younger, more beautiful, more cared for, more polished. The right highlighter should literally take ears off your face and this is only going to happen if it's a natural looking highlighter. Now, I love to have a lot of highlighters and some of them lim being limited edition, they have tiny little glitters and shimmers on the face. They can create a beautiful and very artistic effect on the face. But here I'm talking about the natural, the natural glow. The highlighters, the kind of highlighters that are going to give your skin this natural glow from within, the kind of highlighter that you can wear every single day, let's say even for a business meeting, the kind of highlighter that you put when you want to trick people that your skin looks beautiful, polished, cared for, but you're not wearing highlighter. For me, I have two holy grail highlighters that do this effect. Um, for me and one of them is the Gucci liquid highlighter and if you have been following my channel you already know about this product even though it is a little bit dark right here on my skin it looks quite natural and I usually like to apply this one right on top of all of my makeup um, most of the time I'm going to apply this one even on top of my powder because it's instantly going to bring this freshness to my face and it's going to bring this glow from, from within to my skin. The idea here is to look as if you're not wearing highlighter, to look as if you're not wearing makeup, but just to have this beautiful glow on the face that 
it is going to be there, but people are not going to be shimmers or glitters on the face. So this is one product that I think everyone should own in 2024. The other favorite that I have is by Westman Atelier, and this is one of um, her super loaded tinted highlights, and this one is in Pau de Peche, um, excuse me, Pau de Santé. This is the one that matches my skin perfectly, and it is um, peachy pink highlighter that I always like to apply right here even on days when I'm not wearing makeup sometimes I'm just going to keep this in my handbag because every time when I want my skin to look a little bit better more polished more cared for as if I've been on vacation as if I've just had a facial as if I'm younger than I actually am this is the kind of product that brings a lot of life to my complexion this one is a peachy pink and this one is more like a bronzy color so if I build them up they are going to give a hint of color but I prefer not to build them up I use the tiniest amount of these and they last for such a long time I don't think that I'm ever going to get through um, the Westman Atelier cream here. It can be used also as a blush, but I prefer to use it as a highlighter. So it all depends on you. You might choose a powder highlighter if you want to, but just something that is how you're going to know this product because it's instantly going to add this glow to the face, but it's not going to be shimmer, shimmery glittery it is just going to add this beautiful life to the complexion next is going to be a cream blush it doesn't matter what skin type you have a good high quality cream blush is going to be a game changer many times i advise you to use your lipstick as a blush but this wouldn't replace your actual blush and i think that nothing can replace a good high quality cream blush because it can literally bring so much life to the skin and to the complexion my personal two favorites are the westman atelier her cream blushes are amazing they are some of the best quality cream blushes that i have ever used and you can very easily apply this one even on top of sunscreen it is going to bring so much life to the complexion and i usually like to apply these cream blushes on top of my powder so i'm going to use a tinted moisturizer or a foundation or a sunscreen i'm going to apply the powder on my face and after that as a, as a last step on top of the powder i'm going to apply a little bit of cream blush and look at the effect that you're going to achieve the effect is going to be your skin is instantly going to be more youthful more glowy a less powdery it's going to remove that powdery look on the skin but still your skin is going to be mat mattified from the powder my two favorite formulas are going to be carewise and westman atelier in particular the shade that i really like to use for my no makeup makeup looks and the shade that i think matches my skin perfectly and my favorite is chouchette so this one is chouchette it's perfect for my skin tone this is chouchette it's this peachy color and then the other one that fits my skin perfectly is almost all the time sold out and this is from carewise and this is reverence and it's the most beautiful pink color let me give you a close-up and um, maybe I'm gonna swatch it here. Okay, I'm gonna swatch also the Westman Atelier. So the Westman Atelier in Chouchette is more peachy and Reverence is more like a pinkish blush. These two are my must-have cream blushes and they always bring so much life to the skin. They make the complexion more youthful. And there were um, a couple of times on my YouTube channel when I was wearing only sunscreen powder and either this or this and I got so many compliments like no other makeup video and this is something that always surprises me but that's why I also these are products that I use in my daily life um, every single day most of the time these are the two products that I will always use and they are always in my top shelf because they make such a difference such a big difference in the way skin looks especially when applied on top of the powder and then the last product that every woman should own in 2024. This is going to be a nude lipstick, but not any nude lipstick. The nude lipstick that is going to complement your own skin tone. This nude lipstick should look beautiful even if you're not wearing the teeniest bit of makeup. It's very hard to choose the right nude lipstick. I have a video right here, so head over to this video 
to watch how to choose the perfect nude lip color that is going to complement your skin tone. Now this is a tricky one and every time when I see somebody recommending nude lipsticks I'm thinking well this looks good on you but is it going to look good on me? Everyone has a different shade of nude lipstick and for every person there is a shade of nude that is going to complement their skin tone beautifully. Here I'm not talking about this kind of a grayish nude colors that are very couture and the, these kind of nude colors are very demanding and these colors, makeup artists can make those colors work beautifully because they are going to combine them with the beautiful eye makeup. I'm talking about a different kind of nude color here. I'm talking about the nude color that you can put in your handbag in use every single day and when somebody calls you and they say hey let's meet for a coffee you're going to take this color out apply it to your lips and it's instantly going to make your face look better that's the perfect nude color it should look good on you if you're wearing makeup or if you're not wearing makeup this is the perfect nude color and once again head over to this video if you haven't watched it where I'm going to teach you how to choose the best nude color, nude lipstick for yourself. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Lily Silk's website and take advantage of the discount code that I have currently for you. Also check out their spring summer collection. They have amazing pieces. Okay guys, I'm going to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.